here to uh, talk about how we've used uh, the Cube 2 robot at home over the last few months. Uh, we've got two sons, uh, age seven. He um, doesn't really talk at the moment. He knows how to communicate at a basic level. Um, and the other one's five and he can speak really well, but he really struggles to communicate or talk about wants and needs or, or feelings and stuff like that. So we've used QT at home for around six months. And we've used it pretty much every day, sometimes five minutes, sometimes ten minutes. Um, and that's one of the really helpful and good things about QT Robot is you can just drop in and out of it whenever you want to. Um, it's not like a assessment you have to pay for and, and, and you go somewhere, maybe your kid's having a bad day, so um, it doesn't work out how you want or all the time's not utilised. Um, you can just uh, build it into your schedule at home. Um, and they both responded really well. They made... Uh, lots of progress with their communicating. They've certainly done things that I didn't think would be um, possible in terms of their communicating, certainly not uh, with mom and dad. Um, I think they found it a lot easier to work with the robot than us sometimes, if I'm honest. Um, they've both developed really nice relationship with the robot. To the eldest, he's always really excited um, when he comes out uh, to, do his, to do his work, to do his learning, and um, always waves uh, Goodbye. It's one of the really nice things about QT is it is quite sort of personable and, and lots of praise and, and says hello and, and waves goodbye and stuff like that. Uh, another thing I really like is that we can use it with um, the PECs, the picture uh, exchange communication system that our boys use to communicate. Um, so uh, rather than having to speak all the time uh, maybe to identify a colour or a piece of clothing or an animal or something like that. They can use their pets, but their pets pictures um, to do that, which is uh, really handy. Um, one of the things I really like about QT is the fact that you know when you're when you're a busy parent in modern day life and come back from a hard day at work or just a busy day at home with the family, you don't always have uh, time to think about what activities to plan and, and certainly preparing them is really quite hard, especially for our sons that are both really visual learners. Um, but the beauty of QT, it's got well over 100 activities on the tablets that you get with it. Um, so just a uh, few seconds to set it up and then you're ready to go and it's got it all there ready rather than sort of hours of think about it and printing and laminating and and Forgetting where everything is, you just press a button and, and, and there it is. Um, both boys have, have done really well with it. They've definitely made a lot of progress. They've um, they've done lots of things that I wouldn't have necessarily uh, been able to do with them. So uh, they've sort of shown emotions uh, with the robot or, or copied them. So, you know, whether it's laughing or happy face or sad face, something like that. Um, and they've learned... Uh, sort of prepositions like behind and on. Um, QT's got so many different things. It's got you know, numbers, letters, colours, identifying uh, bathroom items and, and just so many more things that you can uh, keep going. We've been using it for six months and we're far from all the way through it so it's quite exciting to see uh, where it can take our boys over the next few months. Um, I mentioned earlier but um, one thing I really like about it is that you've got it at home, so you can just drop in and out of it all the time and you don't have to worry about uh, booking professionals in or, or going to appointments and all, all the money that costs and all the time. And then you know, maybe you don't get much out of it sometimes, um, but the robot's at home and, and you just uh, turn it on every day and, and do 10 minutes every day and it, and it works uh, really well. Thank you very much.